I'm going to take a look at the weather because it is chilly out there, it Alex. Is. Amy, it is. It is. We are getting into that season where, <laughs> you know, you step outside your house in the morning and you, you need the big jacket. You just need it. Maybe the scarf, too. Uh, believe it or not, Christmas is in one week from today. So we're counting down the official start of astronomical winter, the winter solstice. That's in three days. New Year's Eve, right before we ring in 2022, believe it or not, uh, 13 days away. So we are in the thick of the holiday season here. And here is what we are talking about this morning weather wise. Yes, it is cold. We've got uh, frost advisories in place, a hard freeze warning. We also are dealing with Santa Ana winds, very localized though. So through the I-5 corridor portions of the San Fernando Valley into Van Nuys, as well as out into Ventura County, we've got wind advisories in place until this afternoon. So gusts up to 45 miles an hour possible. Those winds will subside though as we head later into the day today. Temperature wise, we will feel 60s this afternoon. Plenty of sunshine, a mostly clear sky. We are dry this weekend and you know we saw rain uh, a few days ago we were tracking that big storm system and mother nature delivered we were talking about rain mountain snow gusty winds and you may be wondering did that make a dent in our drought the answer is no not really unfortunately we are still under uh, moderate to even extreme drought conditions here across southern california but we have more rain in the forecast as we head into next week a few days of it too so that's the good news here. Watch what happens as we head into next week. So we're tracking the storm system. It's going to bring rain from Northern California, the Pacific Northwest, all the way to us here in Southern California. So here's a check by early Wednesday. We're starting to see that rain form right near Santa Barbara County. Then it pushes farther southward through Los Angeles County into the Inland Empire and Orange County. As we head overnight into Thursday, we've got rain chances continuing into Friday potentially into Christmas too. So this is something we will continue to keep our eye on for now this weekend. It is going to be dry. Soak up the sunshine while we have it. Temperatures in the 60s. We'll see that increase in clouds as we head into Monday and Tuesday as the marine layer thickens. And then we have that rain returning rain chances returning Wednesday. Thursday and Friday snow levels dropping too. So it looks like we could see some snow. We put that chance in your forecast as well. So if you're hoping to get outside, get things done outside, get it done this weekend under the sunshine with temperatures in the 50s in the high desert and mid 40s in the mountains. That's been a look at your forecast. Here's sports.